Some good news and some bad news for Linkin Park. First of all, the bad news is their debut song of their newest album, The Emptiness Machine, is no longer number one in the hard rock charts. But the good news is it's been replaced by their second song, Heavy is the Crown. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. Some good news overall then for Linkin Park. It's all been good news over the past few weeks, the past month. They've got an incredible comeback. They've brought two songs from their newest album out and both singles have went to number one a lot of positivity i enjoy both songs do i think it's the best music that they've ever released i don't but i certainly think lincoln park are an upgrade on what we've seen over the past i would go as far as saying like 15 20 years it's been a long time since lincoln park were this good and i really enjoy their new album. So the brand new song Heavy is the Crown. It debuts at number one on this week's Hard Rock Digital Song Sales Chart and it replaces The Emptiness Machine that was number one last week. So the, the Emptiness Machine dropping down into that second spot and Heavy is the Crown overtakes that song and obviously it goes into number one and you know it's good to see Linkin Park have success because I know lately they've come under a lot of criticism because they've decided to continue on uh, people don't like the brand new singer Emily Armstrong and you know what it's just bullshit the band should be entitled and allowed to you know go on and people should give them their best wishes here I don't see why Linkin Park should have to end it just because Chester did so I'm happy that Linkin Park are going on and uh, they're having success. And I know the Chester Bennington family, his son, his mother, they've come out, they've said a lot of unfair and hurtful things about Linkin Park, especially uh, Mike Shinoda saying that he has betrayed them and he has let Chester down and all this bullshit. And it's like, you know, there's some, he's not the one that's let people down, okay? All he's done is continue on with the band that he created. It's important to remember that he created this band and not Chester Bennington. So, yeah, uh, good news for Linkin Park. Back-to-back -back number ones of their brand new album. First it was The Emptiness Machine. Then it was Heavy Is The Crown. And you know what? I'm sure their third single will probably also go to number one because the album seems good. I'm looking forward to it. I think it comes out late this year. So, uh, yeah, definitely will be checking that out. I know Linkin Park are currently on tour as well. So, um, yeah, I've never seen Linkin Park live, but if I get the opportunity to, then uh, I certainly would because I think this new music is a step in the right direction. So, uh, yeah, good news for Linkin Park. And I'm glad to see them having success after some of the shit that they've had to put up with over the last few months. Anyway guys, that's it for Fog Entertainment. Let us know down below, are you a big Linkin Park fan? Do you enjoy Linkin Park's mo uh, music? I was about to say movies. <laughs> I don't think they made any movies, although Chester was in Saw, and that was a pretty uh, gruesome death scene. But yeah, uh, do you like Linkin Park's music? And what is your favorite Linkin Park song of all time? I know a lot of people go with In The End or Numb, which are very good picks, to be honest. They would probably be my top two. So yeah, let us know your favourite song. And yeah, I just think this Linkin Park comeback is good. You know, it's fresh. And uh, Linkin Park now are feeling like a band that I would actually go out and see now. Because obviously, when I was younger, went and seen a lot of bands. You get older and you kind of lose interest in it. But I would definitely go and see Linkin Park if I get the opportunity. And I mean, you compare Linkin Park to what you have like with Oasis. I mean, nobody wants to see Oasis. You know, it's just two fucking guys that are past it a shell of their former selves and they're trying to cash in while they still can whereas Linkin Park are actually out there still creating good music so I wish them the best I wish them success and I hope that one day I get to see this new version of the band anyway guys that's it been Fog Entertainment leave a like leave a comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one but of course until then peace